Renovate Church, how are you doing? I'm sure that every single one of us have these mixed emotions of everything we're seeing on the news. And uh, I just want to encourage you, I know that you're staying in tune of what's happening around the world, but also make sure that you're feeding your faith more than you're feeding on media, because media is only going to bring you bad news when the Bible brings you good news. And we need that. I was reading Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. He says, I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Now, when I read this verse this morning, I thought this, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds my future. And God holds your future. God holds the, your children's future. God holds the plans. God still has a purpose. Listen, the devil's probably trying to cancel 2020, but let me tell you something. With God, God has not canceled your life. God has not canceled your hope. God has not canceled your church. God has not canceled the purpose and the plan that he has for your children. God has not canceled the things that he's going to do. He's got plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So I want you to stay encouraged. Stay in the word. Now, on a very simple practical note, let me tell you something. If you're an elderly person in our church and you need help with picking up medicine or you need help with driving you to a doctor's office or if you need help with helping you go buy groceries, I want you to call our church office. You'll get that information here on the video. Call our office if we can help you, if we can assist you. And church, I wanna be very clear with you. This is our opportunity to love our neighbor as thyself. Let's make sure that we're checking up on each other. Not just, not just staying at home, but actually making phone calls. You have a church family here. Connect with people. Call people. Talk with people. FaceTime with people. Check up on each other. Let's make sure that this is where we are truly better together. This is where we really will see whether or not we're a church family. And we're doing a lot of practical steps to get us there. For example, I know that through this whole process of of, of coronavirus and, and our leadership asking us to stay home. Uh, we're providing online services. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m., we'll have an online service. We'll be on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, there's a new uh, uh, platform that we're, we're launching that'll be on our website. Go check it out. I forgot the name of it. But uh, this is the time where we get to do watch parties. We can share the links. We can call our friends, our family, and say, hey, listen, we're about to come together and, and we're going to hear a message of hope and we're going to worship together. And I encourage you, parents, man, this is your time. This is where you get to shine. This is where your kids get to see you pray together. This is where you can ask your kids, how are you feeling? How, how, what, are, what thoughts are going through your head? Because here's the truth. We're all dealing with a little bit of worry. We're all dealing with a little bit of fear. But we don't have to live in fear. We live in faith. We have to choose to live in faith over the fear. And it's a choice. It's a decision. And I know it's not easy. Trust me. I get it. But I know that God is with us. Over and over, God said 365 times in the Bible, He said, fear not. Do not be afraid. 365 times you find that word, fear not. That's, that's a fear not for every single day of the year. Not just that. He says, fear not because I am with you. And so I'm, I'm encouraging you. When you're in your homes watching online on Sundays, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., when you're watching on Wednesday night, 7 p.m., Whenever we are reaching out through Instagram, Facebook, stay connected. I want you to know that God is with us. With us. He's, he's, he's walking through it with us. He's, he's not leaving us nor forsaking us. And, uh, and just know that we're here to help. We also will have a uh, prayer line number. We are going to have uh, ways of staying connected as a church on different platforms. I just want you to know there's so many things that are going to be available to us, but I want to make sure that you hear from me. My wife and I will be preaching tomorrow, tag teaming, and I know you're going to be so encouraged. And um, I just want you to know that, uh, that God has great plans for, for you and your family. So make sure that you're spreading the good news, and I look forward to seeing you. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Stay on top of our, of our social media. We're going to give you all the details of all the different simple, practical things we're going to be doing to keep us together. God bless. Bye.